Alright, so good morning everyone, welcome back to another day of the split mod. In today's episode, we're finally going to be taking on Skeletron. As well as that, we have a brand new NPC to be checking out, and hopefully we might even see a few more. And that's because before the episode began, I went ahead and upgraded some of the houses, mainly the ones on the floor, because to me, with them all looking the same, they were a giant eyesore, and I couldn't be dealing with it anymore. But the new NPC is actually down here. So, here they are. Uh, Mona. <laughs> that is her name. Alright. Oh, looks like my pet possessed me again. Typical scenario. What was he even thinking? So, you're in charge here. Very well. I'll just settle here for free and sell some questionable items for ex... Is that meant to be extortionate? Ex... <laughs> I, honestly, why is my reading so terrible? Uh, satisfied with the prospect? Perfect. Now go and kill somebody. All right, what do we get? So there is Discourteous Full Moon. Increases critical strike chance by 6% during a full moon. See, items like this, I'm never going to buy. I do not care about the phases of the moon. I'm sorry. Spinal Galaxy, though. Ooh, fancy artwork. All right, uh, I'll slap it down. Why not? And a star hat. Go on, I'll try the star hat. Do you know what? Honestly, with the with the mythical looking beard, I actually really like this hat. That is a that's very cool. Um, so before the episode began as well, I should say I did have to cheat in an item. Now, if you're new to Chippy's Couch, I'll always make it clear. If I ever have to cheat anything in, I'll just say it and I'll tell you why. Uh, so I needed to cheat in these, the elements of air, because if you're watching the last episode with very close eyes, well, a lot of you noticed this. I didn't pick up the item from the menace, the element of air. And apparently, according to you lot, uh, they're kind of important. So you lot told me to cheat in three of them. I did just that. So let's have a little look at what these actually make, because I don't know. Uh, the trapper's hook can catch critters. So this is an upgrade to any gem hook mixed with a bug net and element of air. So this is a hook that allows you to catch critters. You know what? I'm down for it. I think we'll make it. The Overtaker. This is an upgrade to the Sky Fracture. Very cool. Tomb of Patromancy. Patromancy. <laughs> I have no idea. This looks really cool though. The Element of Water. Unsurped by Duke Fishron. Mute Terrant of the Sea. Yeah, it looks like Duke Fishron. Um, this is cool. What's this an upgrade to? The Platinum Claymore. Oh, 22 heavy melee damage. So I'm assuming that this mod adds in a heavy melee class. That's kind of interesting. So you've got Hermes as well, which is an upgrade to the Spear. Uh, and then the Sprinkler Rod, which is an upgrade to the Aquaceptor mixed with... A Nimbus Rod. Alright, go on. We'll make the we'll make the Trapper Hook. I think that's the one that, that stands out to me the most. So, let's dump that in there. Uh, let's also dump in the Bug Net. Now, we should actually have... Oh, wow. Look at this. <laughs> I'm already out of storage. Great. Um, we should actually have everything for this. Or do we not? Trapper Hook? I tell you what. Let's make another... Let's make another gem thing. And see why we can't make it. Um, Trapper's Hook... Needs the book net. Wait, where did I put the... the? Oh, what? <laughs> now I'm really... Oh, okay. I I, I kind of... Oh, no, wait. I kind of get it, but I kind of don't. Let me get rid of the wedding outfit. I don't really need this. Uh, bin, bin. Put that in there. Can we make it now? Yeah, all right. So it's, it's the fact that the hook went into the inventory. Okay, all right. Awesome. Whoa! You fancy. I love that. I love that every time you use, like, one of these sick little items, you get an animation about it. Can it catch slimes? <laughs> no? Alright, I didn't expect it. So, yeah, in today's episode, we're going to be doing Skeletron. So, I've already gone ahead and made an arena. So, now, it's pretty much killing time until then, to be completely honest. Um, tell you what I might do. I might buy a mining potion and get working on uh, heading down to, to hell. Mainly because... Actually, do you know what? I'll take a shine as well. Yeah, give me a shine and a night owl. Mainly because after this, it's uh, it's the wall of flesh. So unless something like new pops out to me, I'll probably do Skeletron Dungeon straight into the wall of flesh, and then we'll bring the series to hard mode. Because I feel like 
We've probably seen everything in pre-hard mode that we, we need to see. And I'm cool with that. You know, it's been, um, what's this now? Episode 12? That's a, a good amount of pre-hard mode episodes. I mean, Wall of Flesh is probably tomorrow, though. Don't, don't get me wrong. But I don't think we're going to have any issue with Skeletron. I think Skeletron's going to be very quick. So it might go Skeletron, little bit of dungeon in. Because if there isn't anything like, you know, super crazy that's new, yeah, I guess it's Wall of Flesh. Maybe, maybe it might be today. I don't know. So I think we might be approaching hell. Looks that way. Lot of lava. So it's Friday today. Uh, end of the week. Very exciting. So as always, I am curious. How are you going to spend the weekend? Like, what have you got planned? Is it, hey, I'm going to stay inside. I'm going to spend the weekend playing games. Or do you actually have like real plans? You know, not that, not that gaming isn't real, but I want to know. So for me personally... Uh, tomorrow, uh, I'm having like a, a family day. It's going to be really nice. Um, me and Courtney are actually going to be taking her younger brothers out, which is going to be quite fun. Um, so we're having like a big day out. It's going to be great. Really excited about it. All right. What is with this music? Oh, okay. This music sounds amazing. So I wonder what we found. Is this the, the music for hell? Or is there something new about? I don't actually know. Yeah, what's with this music? really nice the soundtrack so far from like all the ones i've actually heard have been really good is there something about here i feel like i'm probably missing something but i don't know what is there anything over there oh there is a house here <laughs> maybe the music's like hey uh we found you a house uh <laughs> you're welcome so where was it it was around here wasn't it oh and it's just a normal cave-in, so nothing nothing too crazy. There must be something around here. I tell you what, I need to come back with um, with a demonite pickaxe. I think that's one big thing. Because <laughs> right now, the pickaxe I'm using is, is kind of trash. <laughs> Especially compared to what we should be using. Alright, well, that was really sick. I thought that was really cool. Um, bumping music. Right, let me, um, let me quickly deposit everything. Let me see, if we actually got enough demonite to, to even make a bow? Not a bow, sorry. Um, you know what I mean. What is, what's it called? Night, oh, it's a nightmare, isn't it? I'm just putting shadow. All right, demonite bars. Let's see, can we make some demonite bars? Hey, we actually can, all right. How many can we make? 21, that's not bad. Uh, so let me make a nightmare pickaxe. And then I tell you what, if we've got enough left over, let's make a, a demonite upgrade oh we, we don't <laughs> needed one extra bar oh it's the worst all right can i make um a storage unit there you go all right there's a blank one storage component uh and then what is it for a storage unit all right one of these okay awesome here we go <laughs> this is gonna free up some space don't even worry about it all right let me dump that down placing these is is really awkward in the series i don't know what it is i've probably probably broken something all right Let's dump that all away. I'm getting... I'm, I'm not going to lie. I've kind of lost my, my, like, train of thought because of the fact that we started getting bumping music. I'll tell you what I'll do. We'll go do Skeletron, and then we'll come back, and we'll find the source of the music. I think that's probably the best idea. All right. So, uh, let me buy some more arrows from Gus. Thank you. All the NPCs died, by the way, since the previous episode. If you're wondering, like, why they're all randomly scattered about now... It's because when I was, like, cheating stuff in, like, cheating in the, the elements of air, a goblin army spawned in and just killed them all. Because I left it open. I spawned in the items and then went and made a drink before the episode. And, yeah, they all died. Uh, unfortunately. Right. Um, let's buy one of these bad boys. Bam. Okay, let's go do Skeletron. Skeletron is going to be an absolute breeze, all right? <laughs> this is literally going to take um, a couple of seconds, if that. You know, Skeletron is is a pretty easy fight to beat these days because I've done so much practice with it. But also it kind of falls back into that Fargo soul mod kind of thing where, you know, I'm kind of used to these more intense fights now. All right, let's begin. Hey, so I tell you what, I wish I, I wish I was using texture packs in this let's play. because I really do, well, I've really found a, a proper passion for them now. Especially now that um, that Steam Workshop has kind of rolled around. Because one of the best parts is, as a content creator, is when I put a texture pack in a thumbnail, it looks nice and bright and vibrant. 
because you know I've made like a thousand thumbnails at this point, so I'm always looking for new ways to to still keep keep them looking interesting and such. But I also really like it because now, whenever I put uh, a texture pack in a video, I can just throw the link to Steam Workshop in the description. And for a lot of people, that's a lot easier than the old way, where it was like, all right, please go to this forum, please download this file, please find the right folder, put it in the right folder and all that. Steam Workshop, it's like, nah, one click and you're done. So I really like that. I love that his hand disappeared. But it was the hand that we'd not even bothered to work on. So this actually turned out really good. It look, you can see it's sensed that the hand has been removed. The one that's despawned. Because now we're getting skulls. That's quite cool. Alright, just got to be careful of the, the spinning here. So we just got to keep this chill. But yeah, I really, I really like Steam Workshop. It reminds me a lot of... Um, it reminds me a lot of the new generation in a sense because... For my generation that grew up on uh, on PCs and stuff, if you wanted to download something like a, like a piece of software or something, you would go to the software website, you would like tell them what version of Windows you had, you'd click download, you'd manually install it all, and you know, it's, it's not complicated, but that's just the way it goes. But the newer generation are kind of raised on like tablets. So for them, it's like, all right, if you want something installed, you go to the app store. So Steam Workshop, you click one button and it's all done for you. Reminds me of that. I feel like my, my jump is really, uh, really messed up. I don't know what's going on with it. I think I'm just not clicking jump enough. <laughs> as weird as that is. All right, I've got to be careful. I feel like I could ruin this fight if I don't um, start focusing a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Now I'm flying. Now I'm zooming. I really do like the Crescent. I think it's such a good weapon. I think it's really cool. I think I've, I've pretty much liked every weapon I've found in this mod. Other than the fact that, you know, I moaned about the, the damage of some of them in the beginning. But I do really like them all. Here we go. Getting close. Bam. Hey! Hey, we got the item from the thumbnail. We got the element of death. Ooh, fancy. Very fancy. We got the, the bone glove. And the book of skulls. All right, so that is a done. Very easy stuff today. Uh, so let's have a little look then at the element of death. I picked this for the thumbnail for the, the little corner thing just because I really liked it. I liked his cheeky little grin. Uh, so it makes the anthem of war with the song of the siren and some ether. This reminds me of something you would see in the, the Thorium mod, the highlighter. It's an upgrade to the point of view. Ooh. Magnet Scarab. So this is hard mode. Ooh, the Twister gets an upgrade with the Element of Fire. So I want to assume that this is from... Ooh, Inspired by Seth, a warrior for Blazing Heart. So that's post-Seth then. The Fishbone is an upgrade to the Chain Knife. I wish I had this. The Viper Fish. Also very cool. Got some more swords. Ooh, this gets an upgrade. The Rib Racket. Oh, I like that. All right. Well, okay. That's what we're working on. 25 bones. We're going to get an upgrade. So, yeah. Unless there is something, like, wildly new in here. Oh, my. <laughs> Tell you what. It's a real good thing I made um, the Nightmare Pickaxe, isn't it? I tell you what, actually. Do you know what? Nah. <laughs> I'm not doing that. We're going to come back with um, with Dynamite. Where's our, where's our Demolitionist at? Do we have a Demolitionist? <laughs> That's the better question. Uh, demo man, where you at? Alright, Demolitionist, you now live here. Yeah, we're, just, we're gonna blow that up. For a second, my, my mind was like, have we, have we got a 1.4 dungeon here? Like, I really did believe it as well. <laughs> I was like, yeah, this, this, in, this seems very normal. Alright, let me go back and, and blow it up. Oh, yeah, let me grab one of those. Do you sell dungeon potions now? Hey, look at that. Super convenient. I do love modded. Okay, let me let me dump this down. I can't believe this. This is quite quite a twist. So will this blow up the, the dungeon brick or is that a 1.4 thing? Ah, there you go. So yeah, it won't. Wow, I don't think I've ever had such a scuffed uh, dungeon before. And I don't think it's modded. I think this is just the, the way that the world has gone. But I've never, ever had this happen to me. 
But I, I really do genuinely like it. I think it's cool. So which way do you think we got to go to to get in here? Oh, it's here. Oh, look at that. That is so sick. I really love that. I love that this is what the world has become. But yeah, dungeoning should be fairly easy. Oh, God, there's more of it. Now, how is there more of it? So um, so a new thing arrived for the for the new office today. So do you remember how I mentioned how I finally took down my uh, acoustic foam? Well, I've had that acoustic foam now for uh, for so many years. I'm trying to think how many years it's been. I think I bought it probably about five years ago. And so what I've decided to do is mix it up. And instead of going for more square foam, I've gone for the newer Elgato ones, which are like hexagons. And I'm really excited because they're they're just a little bit more fancy, right? Because they come with these um these framing plates around them, so they kind of look like a like a piece of art almost weirdly with a frame around it. And I think it's going to make the the whole room look a lot nicer. It makes it easier to put on the wall as well. I got really lucky because I put up um my acoustic foam with like some command strips, so like just Velcro tabs, and it stayed up for four and a half years, no problem. But I've heard from some creators where they're like, oh yeah, I uh, super glued them to my wall. Like, what? <laughs> Are you mad? Like, I remember even Felix. Felix mentioned it a long time ago that in his, like, rented, um, rented, like, office space, he spray glued them to the wall. And like, when he took it off, it looked awful. So yeah, I'm, I'm glad. I'm still going to be like, this is the thing, right, about being able to own a house. It's being able to, like, Put a nail into a wall and and that's allowed you know because you can kind of do that thing but i'm still probably not gonna do that anything i can stick on the wall with just like uh, adhesive strips that's what i'm going for that's the plan so look at this is that a mini boss it looks like um like a budget uh paladin whoa oh he's called fortress that's cool like i say i said oh, and he's firing a blue moon oh, i love that like, I've said this a million times at this point. You all know it. But what I like about this mod is that it's not necessarily massive. But what it does have is really good stuff. Like, <laughs> I've said that wrong. But you, do you know what I mean? It's got quality over quantity. And there's no reason why one day that quality and quantity can't be the same thing. You know, it, if you keep adding quality, over time you'll get more quantity. But... Yeah, I really like it. Why does he have so much health, though? What's that about? Let me use the uh, twister for a bit. Oh, no, this is the wrong one. These sprites kind of messed me up a little bit. Let me get to me. Here. here we go. All right, let's see. Fortress. Okay. Okay, so this is a little bit better. Four hits, though, and I do die, so I need to kill it pretty quick. Okay, and there we go. So what do we get from that? A Morganstern. Okay. For some reason, I assumed I would just naturally get a key. Uh, so, oh, oh, look, let's look at this. All right, so we do have a key, and we also have a bone ring. Equipable, increases magic and minion damage by 12%, decreases other damage by 50%. So this is like, hey, if you want to play as a, a mage summoner, we got the item for you. Then we also get the Morganstern. Uh, equipable material releases spiked balls when damaged. Tell you what, I'll replace that with that, because I'm not really using my, uh, my summoner setup. And then we'll also use the key to open this chest down here. This is a really wacky dungeon. Because, like, not only is it barred off from corruption, it's also flooded. I've never had either of that happen to me. Very, very cool. Alright, let me just keep exploring. And if I get any keys and such, we'll um, we'll get some stuff. Um... Oh, wow. Oh, there's... oh, look at that. Look at the accessory. That is cool. I really like that. I was going to cut away, but now I'm like, nah, can't cut away. This is too good. Hey, so I finally found uh, a dungeon slime. Because I haven't found any keys yet, other than the one that uh, we used not too long ago. Look at that. Hallowed uh, chest there. Okay, so as always, we're kind of looking for um, for our regular items. So stuff like uh, the shields and also uh, like a shadow key. I'm glad we've got the, the Aqua Scepter, knowing that there's going to be an upgrade to it one day. So that's good. Uh, but yeah, that's that's kind of the checklist where we're going off here. I almost want to dump some stuff and come back. 
Mainly so that we can make the... Yeah, I'm going to do it. All right, I'll do it. Mainly because I want to see the, the new weapon. I wasn't expecting it to be so bright. This is nice. <laughs> it was so dark in that dungeon. I had to, um, to turn off my, my lights in my office. Okay, all right. There's the cloth here. Um, right. So what I'm going to do is... I'm definitely going to buy some... I'll buy endurance, but I'm going to buy shine and night owl because it's getting dark. Right, so let's dump all that away. So deposit all that. Uh, and then let's see. It's called the rib racket. <laughs> I love the name. I do love the name. All right. Uh, bam. Whoa, we got godly as well. Oh, God, I love the animation so much. Hello, tavern keep. Awesome. Okay, maybe we'll do the old ones army. Uh, not today, though. Right. So I will say this, um, if this is not more powerful than this, then the balancing is off still, okay? Because I feel like they underpower these. So let's see, it summons two ivory balls, which can be tossed and pierce enemies. Right click to slash without creating a ball. So that's good at least. So it's not as much damage as the twister, but it does have two at least. So that's not too bad. Uh, is the cloth ear selling anything new? Uh, a derp mask. Thanks for the support, derp link. All right. <laughs> Great. Guessing like a, like a Patreon kind of item. That's cool. Let me grab that from you. Clip. Tell you what, I should have photographed that mini boss in the dungeon. I bet you that was probably one of them. Uh, okay, right. Uh, dungeon potion. Bam. All right. I'm off back on the grind. Right, so this is the new weapon, by the way. It's pretty good. I would say it's pretty good. I would say it's maybe on par with the Twister. I wouldn't necessarily say it's better in terms of damage. I don't know. It's kind of got the potential of being better if you line up the enemies right. Like, I would use this probably against Old One's army and have a really good time. Like, because it's, it's, it's quite fun. Very visually interesting. But yeah, I just feel like... I feel like some weapons in the mod are just just not balanced around each other, almost. I want to see if this is maybe a photograph as well. So let me try this one. No, okay. That's all right. So that's interesting. You only use up the clip. I, I've not noticed this before, but you only use up the clip if it's um, the right enemy. That's quite cool. I like that. Do we just get two golden keys then? Oh, hell yeah. Um, right, let me see. Loot all. Blue moon. I'll take the chest. <laughs> Alright, there we go. My character was was more interested in playing a round of tennis. Right, so let's see if we can get the, the shield. Ooh, Aqua Scepter. Alright. <laughs> so that's a no. That's alright. Um, but at least I can say that I've actually checked everything out in the dungeon. Because you never know. When you're playing modded, they could add in like... I don't know. They could add a new item in, in a chest or a random new enemy or something like that. I feel like I've been here for, for long enough now. I've, I've kind of seen it all, which is good. Hey, there we go. All right. So, shield obtained. All right, let's head back. Uh, so, is that it for today's episode? I think, I think it might just be. I think tomorrow we'll probably do uh, the Old One's Army. And then we'll probably do the, the Wall of Flesh in the same episode. I think that would be fun. But yeah, I think that's it. So, guys, thank you once again for another incredible week here on Chippy's Couch. I did say um, in tomorrow's episode, but I probably won't be around tomorrow, but I will be here on Sunday. But yeah, have a great weekend. Um, yeah, and just once again, thank you so much for, for a great week. It's been fun. I feel like we've really, you know, I think we've really found our own in the, the split mod now. And I really love it. You lot are hilarious in the comments. I appreciate the enthusiasm. Yeah, it's really nice. All right. Okay. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching. Shout out to channel members, as always. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.